Uh, this video is now going to talk about chromosomal mutations. These are going to be large changes in huge pieces of the chromosome. And so let me just uh, sort of describe to you, a chromosome is an incredibly zoomed out, condensed version of DNA. So any of these mutations are going to be huge changes um, to, to your genetic makeup and will be very detrimental um, because they will contain not just not just affect a single gene, but multiple genes at a time. Uh, so there are four main types of chromosomal mutations. You're going to have deletions, again, pretty self-explanatory, where a whole part of a, a chromosome is deleted. So you can see that down here, this pink area, for whatever reason, is broken, and the pink area is somehow removed, and now you get a shorter chromosome that's missing genes. Definitely a problem. Um, you can also have a duplication. This is sort of the chromosomal version of an insertion or addition mutation. And this is where a part of a chromosome might be copied twice and added twice to the chromosome. So now we have two copies of this genetic material. And you might say, well, that's not that bad. Now you just have extra genes. That can't be bad. Well, what if that's a gene that you want in a very small quantity? Now you have lots of that, and that can actually throw off balances of entire things. So not always the best thing to have extra DNA that you do not need. Um, an inversion is going to be where a region of a chromosome is, is flipped around. So here there might be a break in the chromosome. A whole section is flipped upside down. Now again, you might wonder, that doesn't sound so bad. We don't have extra. We're not missing anything. It's just in a different spot. Not a big deal, right? Not exactly the case. Um, there's a lot more to gene regulation than just RNA polymerase. And so being in different locations can ultimately mean that genes might be now turned off when you want them on. They might be um, on when you want them off. Or they might have more or less because they're being promoted extra or reduced uh, simply because of its location in the chromosome. So location uh, does matter. Another uh, sort of change in location here is a translocation, where trans means across. Translocations occur where uh, two chromosomes uh, swap regions. So crossing over, when we get to crossing over um, in meiosis, will be an example of a translocation. Uh, so here you can say that there are two totally different chromosomes and they end up switching parts. And again, as mentioned before, location does matter, so those could have a huge effect. Um, here's a karyotype, and we're gonna talk more about karyotypes when we get to cell division and genetics. Um, but a karyotype is basically an organized picture or profile of a human's chromosomes. We have 46 total chromosomes that come in 23 pairs. Uh, this is known as a uh, Philadelphia chromosome, this genetic disorder, where you can see that there's an abnormality where a portion of chromosome 22 has been attached or uh, translocated onto chromosome 9.